and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing really well and enjoying the wonderful weather we're having in the UK at the moment. It's been amazing, I'm not gonna lie. Today I'm gonna be bringing you a boots haul. I absolutely love boots and I love hauling for you guys on my channel. So yeah, I basically spurred out around 80 pounds at boots on a whole bunch of makeup. I think it was 80 pounds and I managed to get myself 17 pounds 55 pence worth of points to spend in store and i really enjoy doing that because i feel like you get more out of going to boots whereas if you're going to go and get a bunch of makeup from asda you're not going to get the same rewards back you're just basically buying the product whereas when i go to boots i can buy as much as i want knowing that i will get some kind of reward for buying those products in that store so that's the one reason why i absolutely love shopping at boots is because of the points system that they have going on if you don't have a boots card i 100 percent recommend that you get yourself one because just for products that you go for on a regular basis you can get rewarded for buying which i think is pretty good and again christmas time comes around i've got around 50 pounds worth of points to spend on my card without having to spend a single penny of my own which i think is really really cool so before i bore you guys any further with all that chat let's get into what i picked up here is what i picked up i've got a massive bag full of stuff as i said there's around 80 pounds worth of products in here which i cannot wait to share with you guys because so going in with shampoos now as the sun has been shining consistently for about three weeks now i feel like having a good old shampoo conditioner and hair care kit is essential for summer it's really really good to look after your hair especially when the heat is as prominent as it is at the moment with me having blonde hair i can notice it more and more as the days are getting hotter that my hair is kind of deteriorating in health so i picked up a bunch of stuff to kind of maintain any goodness it can throughout the next couple of weeks because i think we're going to be having a heat wave or heat wave for another month so instead of dyeing my hair for the summer which i know will damage it a lot considering i have blonde hair i've decided to go for silver shampoos just to help preserve any blondness and silverness and kind of help it maintain that freshness throughout summer so these are the touch of silver shampoos i picked them both up for three pounds 14 pence each there's 400 ml of product in here which i think is amazing as you can tell i have used a little bit of this already definitely one of my summer essentials for sure so on to my next product. This one here is the L'Oreal Full Restore Low Shampoo Shampoo. With the summer being so hot this year, um, I feel like this is going to be really, really useful and handy just to help eliminate any more products I'm adding to my hair and just to kind of help keep my hair looking really healthy without damaging it in any extra way. I just really want to prevent any damage this year because I have in the past really, really struggled with heat damage to my hair, especially when I was like in year 11 i dyed my hair bleach blonde and by the end of the summer it was literally like up here crisped and burnt right out so each year i'm learning how not to do that and picking up on little tips and advice that people give me this low shampoo product cost me four pounds 99 which i think is the reason why i didn't pick up two bottles because it was a little bit on the expensive side considering i was going on a big binge out so on to another hair care treatment product this one is the lee stafford hair that never goes past a certain length i absolutely love hair masks and anything that keeps moisture into my hair lately and i feel like i have gone through quite a lot over the past couple of weeks so i've decided to top up on my collection just to make sure i've always got something in supply in case like i all of a sudden run out without realizing i've never tried this one before so i'm really really looking forward to giving this a go um let me see what it smells like it doesn't smell that great it smells like men's aftershave but I can kind of live with that because obviously hair that is damaged smells burnt so either way it's going to smell a little bit more better than burnt dry and damaged hair <laughs> um this one actually cost me five pound 65 and then another conditioner moisturizer kind of thing which i picked up from boots is this touch of silver hair leave-in conditioner this one is just going to be super handy just for those times where my hair obviously is dry and maybe just for like going on the beach just to kind of top it up every now and again to keep that moisturizer in this one was a little bit more expensive than the shampoo itself but it did come in at three pounds 75 and you get 150 ml of product in here i love the touch or silver browns i think they're really really good for blonde hair so i can't wait to give this one a go the next product i have actually ran out of so i've just replaced this one with a new one and that's a vo5 express primer spray for heat protectant so when you're drying your hair with a hair dryer or straighteners just helps prevent any heat damage caused by electric products this one came in at four pounds fifty i believe so on to a couple of skincare products again skincare is super important for any time of the year but especially for summer because obviously in the summer your skin is more at risk 
risk with skin cancers and sunburn and all sorts of things like that especially if you don't protect your skin as well as you should these are more or less for like my face but I just want to make it clear that you should look after your skin a lot more when it is hotter outside because as nice as it is to have hot weather and warm weather it's super important just to make sure you are taking extra care of your skin so with that being said I've picked up this tea tree witch hazel berry exfoliator I think it's super important to exfoliate your skin fresh berries it's just absolutely gorgeous this one was actually £4.19 you get 150ml of product in here it's got a moisturiser included into here as well which is just perfect because it kind of does it all in one so you don't have to like fuss over it too much just a quick pick me up for your morning routine and I love anything that's kind of quick and easy so next product which I picked up is the tea tree witch hazel shine control day moisturiser I absolutely love this product I already have one which ran out about a month ago but just haven't managed to go out and find time to replace it so I've finally done it it's not too overwhelming just a really nice natural smell to it this one again came in at four pounds so the next item which I picked up with the range is the tea tree witch hazel peel off face mask I love peel off face mask and considering I got this one for free in the free for two I just thought why not give it a try I love peel off face mask especially as I'm quite lazy with my skincare routine I can just pop this on and just peel it off rather than having to wash my face wash on all of the like face mask stuff and then wash it all off again I don't always have time for that Again, it smells really refreshing, um, so I can't wait to give this a little try. So that's everything which I have to show for you guys in terms of my skincare. Now on to makeup. So first off, I started off with this L'Oreal Paris Infallible Mattifying Base Primer. I love this range so much, so I thought I'd give this one a go considering I haven't tried it rather than picking up something I've already used. I love trying new things and just mixing and matching different products just to see how it changes my makeup and how it looks on my skin. This one is just a mattifying primer. I love mattifying products because it just helps keep my skin looking less oily especially during those hotter days i'm not actually sure how much this one cost me but i will leave a link or some kind of description on all of the products which i picked up down below if you guys have a little look through one product i've never actually tried before when it comes to makeup is a foundation stick so i've decided to go for this one in the available range at l'oreal paris this one is in the shade honey yeah i've never actually tried a foundation stick before there's no reason behind it i've just never really considered using a foundation stick as a foundation i've always been used to using liquid based foundation products for my skin so I've decided just to give this a go and see if I like it or not I like the texture I will let you know how this one goes so another product which I picked up from L'Oreal Paris is the Brow Expert Brow Pencil. I really struggle with finding the perfect shade for my brows. I feel like they don't really do a lot of blonde shades when it comes to eyebrow pencils. I feel like to get the perfect shade for my brows, I have to mix like a blonde shade with a light brown shade because my eyebrows are kind of like a really weird shade to kind of find products for. I always struggle with keeping my makeup bags to a minimum when I'm traveling. I just can't say no to taking certain products with me. But I feel like brow pencils that come with this thing at the end just make it really really easy and helpful when you are traveling because you kind of have it all in one without having to take extra products or extra brushes with you so on to some makeup products which i picked up from barry m i don't normally buy a lot of products from barry m i've just never really been brought up to use it by my mum my mum's always used like collection maybelline l'oreal paris she's never really used barry m and i feel like because i haven't actually seen anyone use these products i haven't been brave enough to try them for myself so i feel like i'm going to start off with buying some of these liquid highlighter drops which i picked up they were buy one get one half price I believe um, so they were six pounds each um, and then obviously I got one for three pounds so all together it was around nine pounds for the two um, I've absolutely been loving highlighters lately especially liquid ones to create a nice glowy base underneath my foundation especially for those hotter days where you can't really be bothered to wear a lot of foundation onto your skin I've never really been a fan of liquid highlighters before like before this kind of season I just feel like they make my skin look really healthy and natural looking without having to put foundation on the top of it it just looks really really fresh especially when it is hot outside and you don't want to layer up too much makeup onto your skin so this one is the at first light highlighter drops and then this one here is in shade liquid fortune at the moment these are the shades that I kind of reach for all the time this one more so for like when I'm going out um, on the evenings and stuff and then this one is more like a daytime work kind of look that I like to go for so now on to a couple of items which I picked up from Maybelline another product which I run through like there's no tomorrow is the Maybelline fit me foundation I keep experimenting with different colors of foundations because my skin tone seems to be changing a lot lately and I just can't find my perfect shade at the moment I've gone from 115 to 105 to 110 I've used the Maybelline fit me foundation for around a year maybe a year and a half now and I think it's a really good reliable foundation to have perfect for any type of skin tone a skin color 
out there and it's really really affordable as well so if you haven't already tried this I 100% recommend this one I just love it it's perfect I can't rate this one anymore definitely one of my all-time favorite products in drugstores to date this one comes in at £6.99 which I think is an absolute bargain Next up is the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Powder. Again, this is another good product to set in that foundation with. This one is a little bit darker than what I wanted. It's in the shade 120. I couldn't find the right skin colour for me. This is going to be perfect for those summer days, just to help create a bronze look to my skin and just set in that foundation. This one, again, is another affordable product coming in at £5.99. As well as the product itself, you get a little mirror in the back of it and an application sponge as well, which I think for £5.99, pretty good. I don't know about you guys, but I'm a massive hoarder when it comes to mascaras. I can never let go of the products that are drying out and getting crusty and flaky, and I've had for a couple of years. I just can't let go of them, I don't know why. I just feel like they're just so good that I don't wanna kind of throw it out because I've had it for 12 months. So I feel like I definitely need a good old clear out with my mascaras. I'm slowly getting rid of them bit by bit, but I just can't get myself to say goodbye to a lot of them at the moment because I'm still in love with them and they're still working. They've just been there for a couple of years, which sounds Sounds gross but I'm slowly introducing some more mascaras because I know I need to do it and I just I'm just slacking a little bit in terms of just getting rid of them this one was the most expensive out of all the Maybelline products which I bought coming in at £8.99 but I feel like mascaras are always around this price anyway because they're just such a good product to have um, so hopefully I managed to use this up within the next 12 months so I don't have to throw it away or waste any of it um, so this is gonna come in new and fresh and hopefully I fall in love with it and makes me realise how old the other ones are. So yeah, £8.99 for this one and I can't wait to give this one a little try. So the last product which I picked up at Boots is the Collection Contour Sticks. I absolutely love these and they're so affordable. This one is £3.99 and this one is in the shade Light. The other one I have at the moment is Dark and I feel like it's a little bit too dark and I'm probably ruining the contour effect it has by having a dark one. So I feel like if I use a light one I can build it up to a darker kind of contoured look and it looks a little bit more natural. Um, so that's the reason why I picked up a different colour. You literally apply it like a crayon to your face in all the areas which need contouring or you feel need to contour um, and I just feel like just a quick way of contouring your skin perfect for your makeup bag so yeah that is the last product which I picked up for this haul so yeah that's everything in today's boots haul I really hope you guys have enjoyed rummaging through everything which I picked up on this occasion let me know if you guys have tried out any of these products and if you rate them or slate them by commenting in the comment section down below but yeah that's all for me and I'll see you on my next video bye